kind of like when you're in a power pose in yoga, but this action of just your body and standing strong and steady in your feet is just naturally empowering. 35-year-old Kendall Tishner imagines archery as a kind of meditation. You know, it's a repetitive motion and it gives you like amazing mind-body connection. She's bringing a different take to this ancient skill. How did you get into archery? I guess I tried it a couple times at summer camp, which I think is most people's first try at archery and oftentimes their last. <laughs> like mine? Yeah. <laughs> but then the pandemic hit, and like a lot of us, she took aim at a new hobby. I just started to teach myself archery, so I started to kind of like post my journey of learning. A journey kind of made for TikTok. This is one of her early posts. Hi, TikTok, she writes, I can't really dance, but I can do this. Hashtag lesbian, hashtag archer. Then there was this post, dedicated to the men trying to correct her form in the comments. I had a couple overnight ones that got in total close to like 10 million views. That's um, incredible, 10 million views. Yeah, it's really, it's really incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and the majority of the comments were from people asking how they can get started themselves and what bow I recommend. The bow I was using went to a top seller on Amazon almost overnight. That's when Kendall, who was working as an urban planner, started thinking like an entrepreneur. Almost every website had primarily white men over dead animals as their advertisement for their boat company. So I didn't feel right recommending any of the leading American archery brands to my following, which were mostly a diverse queer audience. And there was no brand for people who were into cosplay, fantasy, who wanted to reenact the Katniss, like vibe and feel empowered and not go outside and hunt. So I saw an opportunity. So the first thing to do was design a bow. I wanted it to be perfect, and I was picky. It took me six months, trial and error. I tried about 60 different bows. Yeah. I wanted it to be like as little branding as possible on the front, all white so that it stands out in the woods. If you were outdoors, it doesn't blend in. None of this is painted. This is actually the this color is of the wood. This is black wood. The white is painted. Right, but the black and this. Yes. That's really great. It is the centerpiece to the archery kit she sells for her company, Wild Captives. It's not just a bow, it's a full kit that comes with everything you need to get started. So it comes with the arm guard, the quiver, arrows. An early pop-up sale at this warehouse loft in Brooklyn was a big success. Orders were coming in fast. And were you able to keep up with demand? I'm still figuring out production, and there's been a lot of things that come up that I, I didn't foresee, like people wanting it in more colors, and a lot of people, especially people who are more professional archers, want stronger bows. What does it say about our society today that an openly gay woman, young, can start a business and it can be embraced by all sorts of people? It's nice, actually. Some of the comments and messages I get like make me cry and like make it all worth it. Oh! Soon she hopes to bring people into the space for lessons. I think my favorite part about it is seeing people feel really great about themselves when they hit it. So like when they pop the balloon, seeing how happy they are and how self-assured they are in almost like an instant. In an instant, a complete change. <laughs> I get what she means. That was great. Yes. yes. Right? That's right. Good. Right. Right. Listen, you guys should try it. You may not uh, be an instant natural like I clearly was, <laughs> obviously. but obviously. you should give it a try. So Kendall that. is selling these kits on her Wild Captives website for under $300. She's also going to be, if you live in the New York City area, yeah. going to be giving lessons soon. Ooh, wow. But yeah, so really I'm fun. Gonna catch really on. fun. Like people are looking for new things, adventurous things to try. Why not? Yeah, you know, I think the pandemic triggered that in a lot of people. Like, go out, be right. active, yes. go do something fun, learn a new skill. That yeah. Great. You think you'll do yeah. it again? I don't know, maybe. Okay. okay. I mean, it was fun. Yes. 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 The answer to that is yes. Yes. Okay. It's terrific. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.